Hi guys, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge and today I've got a really good treat for you. This is the top knives that I bought in any given category. This category is between $20 and one cent all the way up to $25. What is the best knife that I bought in that category this year? I am a budget kind of guy. I like getting the best price I can. I got some knives that you might think belong in this category but I paid less for them and so they were in one of the other videos. So this is my top between 20 and $25. That knife doesn't belong in there. So I've got three, six, seven, eight. Eight knives, not nine. Because I paid $35 for this guy. Without further ado, let's take a look at what we got. I've got my red Ganzo G704 took me a long time to find this knife. I've, I ordered it, I think twice, two times I ordered it. And uh, the seller either, you know, wrote back eventually and said, sorry, I don't have it. But I paid $22 for this knife, US, and I was willing to do that even though the G704 is in my under $15 video category. This one was 22 just because the red one is really hard to find. I like this texture, feels really good. Uh, for some reason, this was one of the first Ganzos that I've ever purchased, this model, this 704, G704. And I just had to get one of every color. And the red one was one of the last ones I got. And I really, really like how this knife looks, the G704. I've got a couple other Ganzos in this list, so let's go over them. This is the G72052, not 22. Um, it's Ganzo's first knife with bearings. And um, this knife got an awful lot of hype before it actually came on the scene. And people were expecting, you know, Jesus himself to come to earth. That's, okay, I'm exaggerating. There was so much hype for this knife that when it actually came out, People were disappointed with it. It's a really good knife. I really like the G752. No, it's not spectacular, but it's a good knife at that price point. Um, I did a review of this. You can check out my review. I like this knife. It feels good. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, the bearings, you know, they don't feel that much different than some of Ganzo's washers when they do a good job with their washers. But, you know, that's not bad. A lot of knives that have washers don't feel, I mean, a lot of knives that have bearings don't necessarily feel all that great. But, you know, this blade shape, uh, this, this, the, the uh, blood groove, but what's the other word for it? Whatever, that looks really nice in there. It feels good in the hand. You know, I like the jimping back here, it's really, a uh, gentle jimping, but it does give just that little bit of purchase to it. I like that knife a lot. The only other knife that I got here, this one cost me $20.04. So this knife missed the previous category by four cents. Um, I like this harpoon kind of shape there. This is the G711. A really good feeling knife. Um, my hand, my three fingers fit in there, and my pinky doesn't get quite crowded in there. I've got a large size hand. Somebody with a medium or a small, you're going to fit all four fingers in here, especially if you put your index finger in that choil right there. Otherwise, you can cinch up and put your middle finger in that space. And um, I can sort of cinch up, but make sure I keep my index finger back here. And then I can do some delicate work with this knife. Nice lanyard hole. I like the texture that they put on here. And not only did they put these grooves, like this decorative groove going back and forth on a slight angle there, but they did this little cutout here, little groove there. And, um, you know, again, right here for the index finger. Just feels really good. And, you know, the access lock on this guy is just great. All I have to do is tilt it slightly past 90 and release the access lock and the blade falls down. That is absolutely free. When Nick Shabazz says smooth, 
That's what he's talking about right there. Smooth, and this is just washers. And when it's locked, it's rock solid. No play, right to left, up and down. It's a solid knife. Ganzo G711. What else do we have? We've got one more Ganzo that I paid more than $20 for. And that's this guy. This is the G749. Very recent review that I did of this knife. Um, I found out after I did the review that there's some people that are pinching themselves between the liner lock and the G10 right there. Um, I'm basically a paper pusher kind of guy in terms of how calloused my hands are. So you can't see calluses on there anywhere. There's, that's a wart. <laughs> you know, I don't have really strong, hard calloused hands, and yet I didn't have the problem of pinching my thumb in there when I go to unlock the, uh, the liner. But some people do have that issue, so be aware of that if you go to buy one of these. You know, some guys are finding that they get pinched there. Um, really nice ultra deep carry, tip up carry. You can do tip down carry that's very deep as well uh, because, you know, they put it right up to the end there. So a um, little deeper with tip up than tip down. And most people prefer tip up anyway. So, and that's how it came. It looks really good, feels really good. I like the that work in the G10 right there. Really nice uh, backspacer, flipper. Ganzo doesn't make that many flippers. I really like this. Washers, good knife. Okay, let's move on to some other brands. We've got this 511. I bought this in Nebraska in November at a Cabela's. Um, and I got this just for, I think, $21, I believe it was. Um, it's OS 8 steel. Got a very, very slight belly to that blade. It's not completely flat, you know, and that Warncliffe nose. Um, this is a really good EDC knife. Like if you've got to be opening boxes all day for a living, you work in a warehouse or something, you know, because that extra finger twill there, you can get up nice and close, really good detail work. The tip is really nice and fine, so you can do that fine stuff. And uh, you can open boxes with this thing all day long and be happy. I've not yet done a review on this knife. At least I don't think I did. It'll be coming up uh, only tip down, pocket clip left and right. So pretty deep carry, tip down only, good little knife. Okay, we've got three more to look at. We've got this uh, Kershaw Emerson. Um, oh, I haven't opened this guy in a while and it feels a little stiff. Maybe the lubricant in there just isn't all that great. I've not yet done my review on this. At least I don't think I did. I'll have to double check that. Um, not very deep carry, but it is tip up uh, because of the Emerson Wave feature right there. If you don't know what the Emerson Wave feature is, uh, you need to get out into knives a little bit more because it's really cool. You pull this out of your pocket in just the right way and uh, the blade will deploy while you're still pulling up. And you've got the knife handy, ready to use. I like the stone wash that's on the grind and then the state, uh, satin kind of finish on the flats. So obviously they stone washed the entire blade and then they took down the flats a little bit more looks really cool with those two different you know looks to it feels good in the hand it's, it's not too heavy uh, good frame lock lock up on this knife is a little later than I like on a brand new knife but it's nice and solid lock up and uh, you know I would like a little bit deeper carry decent knife Kershaw Emerson collaboration I've got a Spyderco Tenacious. I got this at Walmart in the US. Under $25. When I was there in November, picked that up. It's got a four-way clip. You can do tip up, tip down, right side, left side, whichever way you want. And in the tip up position, it's um, pretty deep carry, but you still got like a little over half of an inch sticking out. 
uh, pretty much the same, a little less sticking out in the tip down carry. So maybe that's more like three quarters of an inch and that be more like an inch. Be that as it may, you can actually get a tenacious made in uh, China. Wow, was I thinking Calgary? Probably because of the letter C. 8CR13 MOV. And most of you are aware of the tenacious. Good little knife. And finally, this knife, the Y Start JIN01. Not only is this the last knife that I'm showing you, it's one of the first that I got in this price range in 2016. D2 steel, uh, G10 liners, multi color, well, two color liners. You can also get it in solid colors. Um, there's a couple other Y Start knives that I got this year as well. One of them, uh, you know, just placed about second in the category below this one, 15 to 20. Really nice knife. No clip. No clip anywhere. And this knife with the D2 steel is the winner of my $20 to $25 category. I've said it in other videos that this is the best knife that I bought under $25. And it still is true. This guy's the winner. The Y Start JIN01. It was available at Gearbest for a while. I, it's not there right now, at least not when I'm recording this. The uh, JIN02 is available, but not the 01. So that's the winner. And I've been doing two choices for all of my other categories. So the second prize of this category goes to another very new knife of mine. This guy is just such a nice, uh, well, stone wash. I'm a sucker for stone wash. I like um, black wash, sort of like the black stone wash. I like that even better. Ganzo doesn't do a black stone wash. Wish they did. I like flipper. So it's got the flipper going for it. It's got the stone wash going for it. It's got a bolster going for it. I like bolstered knives. Um, I like the the milling work on the G10 here. I like that the carry is really deep. Um, I've ordered it in a couple more colors because I like this knife that much. So these are the top two knives. And, and the honorable mention also goes to Ganzo. And it goes to this knife, the one that's getting a lot of bad press, the 752. I like it, partly because it's a flipper, partly because I don't think as badly of it as a lot of people do. I don't mind the bearings at all. They're not the best bearings, you know, but they're Ganzo's first bearings. Come on, give them some slack. Uh, they're a company that's done really, really well. They've done really good work. Super deep carry, you know, not ultra deep or anything, but you know, it's a nice deep carry. Um, I like just the extra little bit on the handle here. Once your hand's locked in there, it's not going anywhere. I've got a large size hand and see, there's room for an extra large size hand to hold this knife. People with smaller hands will still find it comfortable because it's narrow enough this way. Um, it's a good knife. I really like it a lot. And again, stone wash. This is a giveaway video. To enter the giveaway, share this video with somebody. Email them. Write them a note on a piece of paper if you want to. Tell them to check out Canadian Cutting Edge you know, best knife under $25, whatever. Facebook, Twitter, however you want to share. Share this video with at least one other human being, um, not your spouse, you know, not somebody that lives in your house. Uh, share this video with some other living human being. And uh, also, you have to be a subscriber and you need to tell me in the comment section that you've shared this video with somebody somehow and I will give you a brand new, well, sorry, I'm lying. I'm going to give you a knife that is in brand new condition and uh, I'll be shipping it to your house if you live in Canada or United States. If you live in some other country, I'll probably have to arrange a drop shipment for you. And um, that's what I'm going to do. Just because I feel super generous at Christmas time and uh, Somebody made a little donation that gave me enough money to be able to do these giveaways. And, you know, at Christmas time, it's just such a good time to be able to, you know, share a little joy, share a little bit of goodness about these knives. 
which one of these knives do you like best? Which one do you think is, you know, deserving of first place under $25? If you have your own knife that you bought in this price range that you think is really cool, tell me in the comment section. I'd really like to know about it. So please like, share, comment, and always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.